world of De Castro and his team do an absolutely fantastic job, you know, and, and they, they do look something I would expect to see in a feature, you know, and a big feature at that is to the, the way it ought to start and the collar thing. It gives me a kind of other world. Um, I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed, you know, talking about it, I'm mean, enjoying talking about it. Doing the kind of press run, you know, in the past couple of weeks uh, for the for the new TV show, I've enjoyed talking about guys, and that's, you know, it's not always the case when you when you do press for stuff. So, um, I'm I'm just like a, a, any other fan watching watching this. That I, I, that was a great time back then for me, and certainly in the mid to the late nineties. Uh, nothing weird about it, the fact that I would never ever want to do it ever again. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was horrific doing the stripping thing. It was, um, you knew it was in the script, it was there, it was the end, you know, and we shot that towards the end. So we thought, yeah, it's going to be fine, it's going to be okay. But of course, the closer you get to that moment, um, it became, you know, sort of bigger and bigger. It was it was it was fantastic. It was it was it was great. It probably, if I'm being uh, once upon a time, were, were as, as good as anything I've been involved in. I loved the character. Um, Rumpelstiltskin was um, it, it was handed to me by, by the the writers, by the creators of the show. They had been um, they, they had been fans of Train Spotting. So uh, when I was um, when they asked me to, to come and be involved, they said, "Look, you can do anything you like with us." And I'd never really been told that before, so I was able to kind of construct that character from, from scratch. Get the easy part out of the way, the worst part's the makeup. That was a, a nightmare. That was um, hours of just torture, basically. And then about an hour to get the whole thing off. So that, that was very, very tough, especially first thing in the morning when you're just going to be bothered. <clears throat> so that was very difficult. Um, the best of it was I was able to, as, as I said, they were able to create this thing from scratch and an awful lot of Rumpelstiltskin's uh, mannerisms and his um, speech was actually based on um, old Glasgow, you guys would maybe, maybe call it vaudeville, but uh, music hall, you would call it old Glasgow music hall comedians, uh, like it, not, not names that I could say you would never have heard of. So it was, it was, it was an ama amazing thing for me to actually bring these, these guys back to life in this, um, the guise of this, this, this strange character. I changed the acting